Hello there, good morning. Today, I've woken up a little bit uh, bloated. Do you know that feeling? It's so common as we get over 40, or in my case, 51. And sometimes it's not even about the food you eat, it's the fluctuation of hormones and stuff. So I'm just gonna do um, some exercises that's gonna really help to ease that. So we wanna tone the core, of course, but we just want to just release out that bloat. It's not a very nice feeling, is it? So um, that's what I'm gonna do today. So if you've got any trainers or you've got a mat, go and grab it, I'll wait for you, come back, and we can do it together. So I'm gonna separate here. So it's important, I'm going to extend my feet and arms above. I'm gonna allow my back to arch a little bit. Big breath and then push in the back, pull the knees in, round in the spine. Again, extend, so allow your back to round. And as you breathe, I want you to really breathe fully into the tummy area. And then exhale the air out and pull your knees in. And we're going to pause here. Take your hands around your head, relax your shoulders, separate your feet and just flex your feet. Now, what your stomach wants to do when you're in this position, I'll show you wants to do this yeah, so I want you to really flatten your back be aware of your abdominals so that's in between your hip bones all the way up into the hollow of your rib cage all the way down towards your pelvis think of that as a whole squeeze it in towards you so again when you're um, bloated this area can feel a really big so think about squeezing inwards 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 relax your head your neck breathe fully and then slowly relax once again, extend so round your spine, but breathe fully here into the tummy area, really helps. And then flatten off, hunch and release. So what we're trying to do is just, this area can get a little bit sluggish, so we're just trying to get it moving a little bit, extending, stretching and also working. Last time, extend so round the spine, round, round, round. Big breath into the tummy, exhale, flatten pulling in and then once we've got that pulled in so think about that whole area squeeze and then separate your feet relax your head your shoulders hold here again that tendency is going to be to want to round so I want you to really focus on pushing down pushing down don't pull up too high from your head extend the legs up towards the ceiling breathe keep the analogy of the tightest pair of trousers that you've ever had and you have to squeeze your belly button to get in and that's what we want to do we want to really contract around this abdominal wall here so just ease out any bloating extend the legs out and then pull them back in extend them out just watch the position of your head out and back in so these are the kind of things that i do to just release out this area we can get a little bit sluggish as we age and again last time and then from here just a little scissor now it's really important again the back's going to want to arch here if you don't want to straighten the legs that's fine you can always bend the knee but it's not a bicycle can you see the difference yeah. so it's a scissor knees coming in towards you breathe 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 keep pulling your belly button in relax your head as much as you can another 10 9 8 7 3 2 good relax take a moment again extend so as we're breathing now we've got a fuller breath into that tummy area exhale round the spine so just awakening the body a little all that sluggish feeling and then once again extend breathe sometimes extensions on their own with a little bit of work in the stomach really does help and then extend hug the knees in hands behind the head separate so we know what we're focusing on the point between our hip bones belly button in just under the hollow of our rib cage down towards our pelvis breathe and I'm just readjusting there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then we want you to extend up and again, keep pulling the pelvis down. And then that little scissor, scissor, scissor. Remember, if you need to, you can bend the knees, but please watch this is not a bicycle. Yeah? So you can bend the knee a little, but make sure we're going forward and backwards. Good. And another 10, 9, 8. Good. Last four, three, two. And then release. Open the knees nice and wide. So imagine your feet like pages of a book. We're coming out, soles the feet together, breathe, lift up. So this is a lovely yoga posture that can help increase in the blood flow to the lower body. So that's what we want. Then when that blood flow starts to move around, it just releases any sluggish areas. Breathe fully. And then what's called an open gate swing. So you're just gonna roll your knees from side to side. All the while just thinking about breathing into the tummy area. 
and then from here keep your feet nice and flat and flat peaceful through your spine lift up in a traditional sit up keep pulling in now can you see here i'm going to try and over exaggerate as you come up i want you to really tilt your pelvis almost so you can get your fingers slightly underneath your bottom breathe and lift here hold so you're trying to squeeze your pelvis rib cage together like so now really squeeze on that focal point pinnacle point there right in your belly button pull in pull in pull in lift up hold 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 try and keep your pelvis like that with that slight lift drop down and lift up so we're just going to do some sit-ups here but as we're really focusing on scooping that pelvis up now we're starting to work the stomach so hopefully now it doesn't feel so sluggish mine doesn't feel so sluggish and then when it starts to move around and you start to get some feeling into that area, you start to feel an extension of work. Yeah, so then we start to feel less bloated, which is what we want. Okay, another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and then hold up, breathe. Now just lift your toes. That encourages your pelvis to tilt. Little tiny movement. And we've got 20, 19, 18, 70. Keep breathing. Relax the head. We keep squeezing that belly button in from those points that we're working. 10, 9, 8, and last 4, 3, 2. Well, that's very nice. Release the pelvis and again, do the complete reverse. So we've been holding on to that now. Just allow the back to arch a big breath. And then all we're going to do is pick up the knees. Once again, the open gate swing. So just release from side to side. And then we're going to pick ourselves up and then just sweep the legs around. And the last bit to really lengthen out the abdominal wall. We're going to ease ourselves down. You can either come into supported sphinx, you can come into a baby cobra, or you can come into upward facing dogs, so whichever your back prefers. As we're breathing here, I'd like you to think about that stomach all the way from your pelvis up to the hollow of your ribcage. Breathe here for four, or for three, two, Release, sit back, stretch your fingers, lifting yourself up, and that's it. So already my stomach is feeling less bloating, that's because I've extended it, arched it, worked it a little bit, so it's starting to move around. So hopefully, um, use that if it helps you, and have a great day. I'll see you again real soon.